My mother and my stepfather were in vaudeville. She was a fine pianist, and my stepfather was a fine tenor. Beside a garden wall, when stars were bright. I guess I was either underfoot or a, a nuisance or whatever. But for some reason that I don't understand, my stepfather decided to try to give me singing lessons. And when he did, which I hated, he discovered that I had this freak four octave range and that he'd better take me to somebody really good. Her name was Lillian Stiles Allen. Julie, she said, remember, the amateur works until he can get it right. The professional works until he cannot go wrong. I've traveled a lot, learning my craft, watching a lot. I was like 12, 13, and we did two performances a night, 16 shows a week. It was really hard work, and then you'd move on to the next town and do the same thing. For many, many years, I was the breadwinner, really. My, my parents were in, in showbiz, but my stepfather was not doing so well financially, and my mother had other children, and so I think I was the one that had to kind of keep up the, uh, keep up the coffers. I was happy to do it. We needed it. The discipline of learning to sing well and sustain and everything you do, nothing's wasted. Nothing you do in life is wasted, I don't think. Those vast mountains are forever seared in my memory. Above all, the music, still and always, lives in my bones and in my soul. Blake sat down on the edge of the couch, and we swapped pleasantries. I found him charming and surprisingly attractive. He, Blake asked me what did I feel, of, what was it about singing that moved people so much? And I said, I think it's because singers, and there are so many wonderful singers, they literally practice and practice and think, and then it's as if they just open up their heart and say, look, inside my soul, I'm giving you that, that special thing that hopefully makes you feel better and certainly is a joy to give. It is revealing your soul.